Yo, what's going on YouTube? Chris Wrestling Views here back on YouTube.com. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And like I said, subscribe. Also, today you guys are going to be doing my AEW Fighter Fest 2021. Well, July 14, 2021. Night 1 review. Uh, first match we had of the night, you guys, which was the two great professional wrestlers, Carl Anderson versus John Moxley, both of these superstars. Um, well, both of these professional wrestlers have wrestled in New Japan. They were fighting for the IWGP United States, well, IWGP United States World Championship. And as you can see, some of the moves that they did throughout their match, which was a per, which was a pretty uh, great match in Austin, Texas. The crowd was great throughout the whole show. You guys have to say the least. Uh, if you watch or if you didn't watch it, just want to let you know. Um, so as you can see, the cutter um, on John Moxley by Carl Anderson, the vicious clothesline um, on Car on Carl and Anderson by John Moxley, and then you guys, as we can also see, um, a little move there, and then after then, you guys, we end up seeing um, John Moxley retaining. Uh, his IWGP World Championship, but somebody else wants to face him. Let's find out. U.S. Championship, and you took that championship from me over a year and a half ago, January 4th, 2020, in Tokyo, Japan. And your win record is impeccable from Suzuki to Kenta to Yuji Nagata, and now Carl Anderson. But you know what? It's time. It's time for my rematch. And uh, we had a Texas death match in Tokyo, Japan, and I think it's only fitting that in Dallas, Texas, next week, we do it again. How about it? A Texas death match. John Moxley, Lance Archer, the murder hog monster. They say you probably shouldn't be afraid, but you know better, and I know different. And next week, one of us is going to leave the champion. One of us is not going to be standing. <laughs> wow, you guys. So it looks like that we're going to have... Um, it looks like we're going to have that match between Lance Archer and John Moxley. So next, you guys, we will have this match right here. Brian Cage versus uh, Absolute Ricky Starts. Uh, it was for the FTW World Heavyweight Championship, which is a belt uh, that doesn't get recognized by the company, so on and so forth. But um, Ricky Starts, you know, he we remember him from another professional wrestling company where he was just a backstage type guy, whatever, doing whatever. But... As you can see, absolute Ricky Starr surprised me when he went when he went up for a run like a running power bomb, you guys, onto Brian Cage, big as Brian Cage is, and as you can see, um, the face of absolute Ricky Starr, you guys, he he was like, come on, and then he and then he tried to get the uh, FTW Championship, but Powerhouse Hobbs end up stopping uh, him, and then he was like, what are you serious, bro, like. Are you really serious? I was going to hit him with the championship. But then again, you got Brian Cage would have won the belt. So, Powerhouse House, they wanted to go that way. And after then, we see Brian Cage does a finisher maneuver and uh, goes for the pin. But we see Absolute Ricky Starts kick out, you guys. And then, right here, uh, Hook had the referee, um, you know, tangled up and then that's when we see powerhouse Hobbs end up uh clocking the head of um of him and end up winning the match so i was like you know you guys are pretty much surprised by the match as you can see on the crowd face they're they're like happy and it's great to have professional wrestling uh back live once again absolute ricky starts is happy that he's won he won the ftw championship uh to uh a built that was created by Taz. And so you guys, um, let me know your thoughts and opinion about this match. A rating, if I had to give this match a rating. Uh oh. Malachi Black, I know the former. A phone call would have sufficed. Absolutely would have sufficed. You got the size, the stature, real kick. This right here, you guys, it was about Cody Rhodes responding to Malachi Black, also known as Tommy Inn, also known as Alistair Black. So let's see what Cody uh, has to say. Just taking over the broadcast here. It's all right. Very impassioned, Cody Rhodes. I understand. 
understandably so. I'm feeling rather boisterous. Listen, I don't win every fight I'm involved in, but I sure as hell have a better chance when I know it's coming. And this might be an abuse of my power, but Tommy N, Malachi Black, please answer the call. This is fighter, and I feel like fighting. Damn, Damn why are you standing up for yourself, Cody? Cody gets those yes. fans last week. They didn't. Did you hear them when I kicked you and R in the face? Did you hear them cheer? And why? Because they're violent. Cody, I don't care about you as much as you care about them. I once saw a man kill a horse, Cody. I walked over to the man and I asked him why he did it. And with a tremble in his voice and tears streaming down his face, he explained to me that this was his prized stallion. This was the horse that brought him all over the world and won him titles. But one day he woke up and looked the horse in the eyes and it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same horse that he, that he had since he was, since he was young. Through wear and tear of all these years of competition, the horse had become crippled. So he decided the one thing he could do is let the horse go with dignity. So he brought him out to his favorite field, fed him his favorite treats, put a bag over his head, and well, here we are, Cody. When I, uh, when I looked you and Arn in the eyes last week, it just wasn't there anymore, Cody. I was hoping to say that. Oh, no, not again. Oh, boy, not again. You need to look around. It is pitch black. There's this deranged, dangerous man, and there they go. Cody Rhodes, Malachi Black, 10 off on one another. Yo, look at this brawl that is going on between Malachi Black and Cody Rhodes. I'm definitely ready to see them fight, you guys. It might be at Rampage or something like that, you guys, because that's the uh, next big show that AEW has. So what do you think, you guys, will happen between these two? How would it go about? Check the next one out, you guys. troops and get them out of here. They are outnumbered right now, by the way. Listen, listen, Kenny, I came here tonight for a match, and I'm not leaving without one, and quite frankly, neither are you. <laughs> oh, you want a match? 
match. Hey guys, listen, Adam Page wants a match. We can do that. We can do that. Because I can see by the look in your eyes that you want me in this ring all to yourself. But I can do you one better. Not only do you get me, Adam Page, but hey, why don't you cue up the goon squad as well? Your guys against me and all of the elite. Five versus five, elimination style. <laughs> well, uh, Kenny, that's not the match I wanted. But if that's what we have to do, that's what we'll do. And when we win, not only do I get a shot for the world title, but these guys get a shot for your tag titles. Wow. You didn't earn it. You didn't what do you guys think about this match? That's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, no, that's okay. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> right. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. No, that's cool. It's cool. Shut up! Shut up! Hey. You boys back up, you boys back up. I got something I need to say to my old partner. Wow. You make a lot of demands for someone that isn't in a position of power. But I'll entertain your idea, Paige. But the thing is, we get nothing in exchange. So I've got a suggestion. After we beat your guys, one by one by one by one by one, not only do your boys lose their shot at the tag team titles, you lose yours too. That's right. I'm asking you, Paige, to walk away. Yeah, you can still go back home to Ma and Pa, and you can tell them about all your wins and losses and be proud of what you accomplished up to this point. But it ends there. You know, stop me if you've heard this before, but they say that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. But you also don't fail either. And isn't that what you're really afraid of, Paige? In front of all these people, in front of all the fans around the world, aren't you really just afraid to fail in front of them all? I'm going to take, hey! I'm talking here. Hey, I'm talking here. Cool. I'm going to take an extra cowboy measure shit. of pleasure <laughs> when cowboy shit turns into belt collector. Belt collector. Belt collector. <laughs> belt collector. <laughs> belt collector. <laughs> so if you're cool with that, so are we. The Dark Order does not back down from a fight, so you are on! <laughs> that part was funny, you guys, right there. So, yep, after we've seen that, you guys, um, let's see if Hangman can pull it over on Kenny Omega, one of the greatest, um, Champions. Uh, so yeah, throughout this match, throughout the next match, you guys, we had Matt Hardy versus uh Christian Cage. As you see, Matt Hardy goes for the low blow, grabbing the referee, goes for the twist of fate. Uh, you guys, throughout the match, and um, at the end, you guys, Christian Cage ends up kicking out, and Matt Hardy is in disbelief. And you guys, these guys have been wrestling. Um, you know, they had their partners, uh, Edge and um. Edge and Jeff Hardy, um, you know, teaming up with them and so on and so forth for 23 years. Uh, as you can see, um, previously, Matt Hardy had the link, the lynch in one of his submission moves that he now has. 
And then uh, you guys, we see um, this right here where Christian Cage ends up hitting the uh, unpurity or what's the, what they used to call it. But now they've been calling it the kill switch uh, as well. So Christian Cage ends up putting over Matt Hardy, you guys, um, a 23 long year rivalry. So like, jeez, man. That is crazy, but he was about to get, um, uh, Christian Cage was about to get attacked until, um, Jungle at, well, the Jurassic Express ends up coming out to, uh, save, uh, Christian, Christian Cage. So, yeah, you guys, um, let me know your thoughts and opinions, you know, about what we previously watched and what I just talked about and so on and so forth. And then, you guys, we had, um, the Spanish guy, uh, Sammy Guevara versus Willer Muta, um, of course, he had a uh, get. Of course, Muda had Orange Cassidy and Chuck Taylor with him. Uh, but you guys, this match ended up pretty quick. Uh, Sammy Guevara ended up putting this man over, uh, even though he just recently debuted it. Um, put him over like real quick, and hit him like with the uh, GTH, what I guess it's called the Go to Hell, uh, type thing. As you can see, Sammy Guevara has a big. Uh, you know, don't have a big smile on the face, but he happy that he won this match. So, um, I think the pinnacle and in, in a circle are far from over. So let's see what's going to happen next. Next, you guys, we have Penelope Ford versus, um, Yaka. I say, yeah, Yuka, uh, Sakasaki, um, uh, which is, she's the magical girl. As you can see, Penelope Ford had that submission locked in, um, uh, on, um, on Yuka and Yuka ends up getting to the rope. You guys um, haven't seen Penelope before um, in a while, and uh, Yuka Sakisaki she has been gone uh, from AEW for over sixteen months. But it's gr uh, great to see her back in a professional wrestling ring. She ends up slipping right here, you guys. Um, when she was trying to bounce off the rope, she ends up slipping, but she ended up hitting uh, her finisher, the Magical Girl Splash. And, you know, she had a smile on her face during the whole match, you guys. Every time she landed a move, she was still smiling. I was like, wow, that she is a, definitely a great uh, superstar. And hopefully one day she will get a um, championship. So next week, you guys, Fighter Fest Night, AEW Fighter Fest Night 2. We got the AEW Women's World Championship, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. Uh, versus Nyla Rose uh, for that championship, you guys. What do you think will happen in that match? I got DMD. Then next, you guys. Well, then next week, you guys, we have Sean Spears versus Chris Jericho. Who will win in that match? I got Jericho. Um, then right here, you guys, we got the Blade versus Orange Cassidy. I would say Orange Cassidy is going to win next week. But we will definitely uh, have to see um, if that, you know, if my predictions are true to come. So next, you guys, um, next week, we're going to have a IWGP uh, United States uh, title, well, Texas death match. We're going to have Lance Archer versus John Moxley, guys. As you've seen pre previously early in the video that I showed you guys that Lance Archer wants another title shot. So the main event, you guys, right now, that's up next. We're going to have Darby Allen versus All Ego Ethan Page. Um, they they end up tearing it down, you guys. Um, Ethan Page ends up on uh, tearing off the turnbuckle. They fought in the crowd a little bit, but got back to the ring. Um, they used a lot of steel steps. Um, you know, through well, used like two steel steps throughout of it. They used the um the turnbuckle, um, uh, to snatch a chain off uh one person's neck, and then you see a hook goes in the mouth of ego uh, all ego Ethan Page's mouth by Darby Allen, you guys. And so you guys also pretty much surprised, you know, about this match. As you can see, uh, Darby Allen kicked the um, steel steps to try to kick uh, all ego Ethan Page into the coffin. They ends up they end up standing up in the coffin, exchanging blows. But then again, you guys, Darby Allen getting you know slapped while he was in there. As you can see, the hand is about to connect to the face of Darby Allen by all ego Ethan Page. Then you guys, we uh, end up seeing Darby Allen biting the hand of um you know, of, um, all ego, Ethan Page, and then a coffin drop from the top rope, uh, well, not a coffin drop, actually, it was all ego, Ethan Page going for the, um, Eagles, I think the Eagles landing, that's what he calls it, well, Eagles Edge, excuse me, and then, uh, we see them on the top, on the, uh, on the ring apron right there, you guys, and after then, uh, Darby Allen hits, on. Um, 
hits all ego with the um with the skateboard and ends up shitting the thing, you guys. But I have a video clip of what happened after Darby Allen won his match. So if you want to stay tuned, you guys, please do. And here it goes right here. So watch, you guys. As he celebrates his victory. Darby. What courage, what conviction by both men. What, what's he going? Come Here on, Eden. Go. He's not going to no, no. cough and drop a closed casket, is he? What the world? Nail in the coffin. Oh, oh, my God. Damn. Darby Allen driving the final nail Darby Allen was a real risk taker, you guys. I'll tell you that. Real risk taker. Well, here it goes again. Amazing. And again. What a night. And again. And what's Fighter Fest 2 going to be next week? We'll see you in Dallas, ladies and gentlemen. One of the greatest underdogs in AEW today. It's an exciting night. So, you guys, um, next week, Fighter we'll Fest night week, two. Tonight. And we're definitely going to see what's going to happen. Thank you guys so much for watching Chris Wrestling Views here on YouTube.com. Don't forget to subscribe and click that post notification bell.